I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the secret healer, author of Rose Goddess Medicine. Welcome to my channel, list of essential oils and their uses. Today we're going to talk about rose essential oil benefits for skin. I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the secret healer. Welcome to my channel, list of essential oils and their uses. This video is rose essential oil benefits for skin. Now it's part of a series of videos about rose essential oil. I am the writer of several books, 20 aromatherapy manuals, including this one, Rose Goddess Medicine. So as you can imagine, I've got more than two minutes to say. There's no way I will be restrained. So I've broken it down into videos for you. And this one in particular is pertinent to another one of my books because this is 50 easy essential oil recipes for skincare products for dry skin. And that's what it's for. Rose is beautiful for dry skin or for normal skin, you know. So... Let's just have a quick overgo of the different oils I would use for different skin types first, to be clear, right? So if somebody had very greasy skin and they had, um, and they were my age, which is like 21, obviously, um, then I would say Neroli or Vetiver. But if they're a teenager, I would go Lavender. So we don't really want to uh, use lavender on any oil except for really, really grimy teenage skin. Also, actually, helichrysum is lovely for um, balancing skin. So if somebody has tremendously dry skin, because they're older, like older than me, <laughs> you know, at 60s, 70s, 80s, we're going to use frankincense because it's tremendous um it's like polyfiller, really. <laughs> Tremendous for wrinkles. It restores elasticity, so it tightens all of the tissues. Um, if you are my age, which is actually, truthfully, 50 in a few weeks. <laughs> so anywhere between 30 and 50, really, we're going to be looking at rose. In fact, no, anybody from 20 to 50. If you've just got normal skin or slightly dry skin, rose or vetiver or helichrysum but rose is beautiful or geranium actually um incidentally if you are like me and you have a, a tea, greasy tea so we have this grease here grease here and this perpetual spot farm here we use um ylang ylang so rose to balance out the dryness here ylang ylang to balance out the tea zone yeah um, and within this book, there's lots and lots of recipes for you to follow, but let's talk about how we would use it. So first of all, would I use it as a cleanser? No, I probably wouldn't. If I'm honest, I can think of oils that will do a better job of cleansing my skin. So for example, carrot, carrot seed essential oil is fantastic for drawing crap out of your skin as is cypress. Both of them are very astringent. So I tend to use um, a cleanser with a drop of neroli and a drop of carrot and a drop of cypress. Cypress also has a tremendous effect if you spend a lot of time in front of the screen and let's be honest, who doesn't anymore? Or if you work under fluorescent lights. Not so pertinent now as it used to be sort of in the 90s, but you could go into a store and I, I don't know about you, but I would feel fuzzy in the head from all the positive irons. And Cypress is tremendous for just calming that down, settling it. And as I say, tightening the skin and just cleaning it of all the environmental rubbish that's out there. But likewise, you could use um, Rose as a cleanser. But let's think about it for a moment. Let's think about how we use a cleanser. We put it on, we take it off, don't we? We don't really use it, leave a cleanser on the skin. Now, bear in mind that 
and essential oil will take around about 19 minutes 20 minutes to go through the skin and to go through the um it's a semi-permeable organ isn't it the skin so it goes through and then it gets into the capillaries and then it circulates to all the parts that do it are we leaving it on for 20 minutes no we're not not very often and if, unless you were doing like a mask we will talk about masks in a minute where you could leave it on for that long but for the most part you're chucking it down the toilet do not use it as a cleanser unless you think oh yeah well i just want everything to match which <laughs> i may have done three or four million times <laughs> but for the most part cleansers use cheaper oils the really is not cheap but it is uh, the best oil for my for my skin i think um so basic cleanser and i would say to uh, cleanse off your makeup and then splash with water and really tighten up those skin cells then i would say tone and this is one of the places where rose really comes into its own if you use a rose water to tone the skin then that's beautiful you don't really need to add any alcohol to it um it naturally has a very small amount of alcohol within the rose water anyway and it's astringent so it tightens and tones the skin and closes up all the pores to just really make sure that you have this lovely smooth clear com uh, um, complexion so what is it about the rose that is so good for skincare and why is it good for nourishing the skin so much because we can say it's hydrating because it makes it look like it's dewy you know that clear sort of shine that you get to the skin but it's not really hydrating you need the moisturizer base to do that to be honest but it does have the illusion of it and really we're looking for how it does it but it also gets rid of the dryness so how can it not be hydrating but get rid of the dryness well what it actually does is feed the young new skin cells at the most granular layer so as they come up to be formed they're called keratinocytes the rose plumps them up so you have fat babies <laughs> in effect and who doesn't love a fat baby and then it goes into the the um the fatty layer where um subcutaneous fat where it gets even fatter babies <laughs> bouncing about and then when it comes to the surface of the layer if we have taken care of the skin layer, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and we've cleaned off all the dry skin, what you have is youthful skin, plump, youthful, hydrated, because it's come from that it's sort of still new, you know, it's not withered, it's not dry, it's still new and nourished skin up from the layer. So although it's not putting moisture in, it is helping to bring moist cells up. So definitely then we want it in our moisturiser. Um, oh, I have a moisturiser at hand. That wasn't planned actually. If anything, I was trying to hide it behind the the, <laughs> the um, vase. But as I say, we, I tell you all the recipes in this book. But I just use a, a blank aqueous lotion that is. And I just put a couple of drops of oil in there and a little bit of carrier oil only a small amount now something to know about how the skin reacts to oil so there's two kinds of things first of all we read all of these internet pages that say oh it's full of linoleic acid it's full of omega-3 it's full of omega-6 it's full of omega-7 um you know all of those things but they don't pass through the skin you have to eat an oil for it to do so for example you have to eat hemp seed oil on a cake or something like that to be able to get to enjoy the benefits of the omega-3 same applies with putting them into your skincare but what they do do is they have a lovely smoothing and nourishing effect now we could definitely use rose hip essential oil uh, carrier oil to bulk it out because it's full of vitamin c and that will absorb through the skin into the um into the blood 
it's the omegas that won't so beautiful so if you read that rose essential oil is full of um vitamin c and you get excited mm, actually the good news is it's not it's in something cheaper which is the rose hip um carrier oil since over the past few years i've been experimenting with lipids fixed oils which are carrier oils in effect um and i i love rose hip carrier oil but if you've got really dry skin i would go rose uh, raspberry seed tremendous just tremendous stuff just goes it's like velvet so i would put in this pot only kind of a few drops of carrier maybe 10 drops of carrier in there and your essential oils so we would use the moisturizer morning noon and night what's great about using the recipes in here they're all based on aqueous lotions which you can get for next to no money from the chemist they go right through your makeup leaves no residue so straight in so you can top up your oils all of the time so what would i blend it with because rose is fabulous it's not going to do the whole job so as i say if you've got um combination skin i would go ylang ylang stolen from a recipe from my mum who was one of the founder members of the international federation of aromatherapists she does tremendous skincare or did she would also blend rose with violet leaf if somebody had very uh, reactive skin sensitive skin um i also like to use it with chamomile with the blue chamomile chamomile matricaria or german chamomile or the same name for the same for the same plant so 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 gentle because it um the color blue comes from the distillation from a white flower so it makes a um, a chemical called camasuline which is like liquid anesthetic so if you've got sensitive skin and it's flaky because of it so maybe you've got eczema then rose and roman uh, and chamomile matricaria and actually some um brains gone some geranium for um, for eczema is absolutely beautiful and your carrier oil if you've got eczema i would use calendula in there absolutely beautiful um if you've got skin that's gone dry after being ill i had that when i was i used to have to have my blood thinned i had a blood clot in my lungs when i was carrying the little one and i had like breakages all over my face where all of the blood um, vessels all burst and it was so 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 dry and so we went rose vetiver beautiful and patchouli rose vetiver and patchouli very very nourishing if you're somebody who has um breakouts with cold sores rose and melissa and a bit of tea tree just you know you only need one drop single drop in there that's enough and we're going to use it morning noon and night so there's your moisturizers you could make a mask um so you could go you could there's plenty of um companies that will sell you a mask base for example um, fragrant earth send out our cards tongue of the trees cards they make spectacular skincare bases and sell all your essential oils and carrier oils you might want to have a look at those um, and they do a beautiful mask that's where i get mine from and so i like to then i use rose you know just lays back and just think of how beautiful this is so luxurious so caring for your skin and uh, yeah, I always use vetiver and patchouli then as well, just to get that glow back. Um, but I think fundamentally, the most important thing that you're going to do with your rose essential oil for skin is to do a facial massage treatment. So I would recommend getting a teaspoon of carrier oil. If you can, I would recommend getting hazelnut oil because hazelnut is exfoliant it takes off that dead skin and remember we want to get the dead skin cells off 
so we can re show the fat babies again, don't we? So a nice blend is uh, ro a rose hip carrier oil and um, also hazelnut oil together. So if we go in five mils, five mils, so teaspoon, teaspoon, put it together. And then I'd go um, one drop of rose because too bloody expensive to go any more than that. <laughs> and as I say, I like to do either some cypress for the uh, um, positive ions or maybe some geranium or vetiver whatever takes your fancy so we will put it onto the skin and what we do is we first of all stroke it all down so we've got loads and loads of oil onto the skin because while you're not doing any work with your fingers it can still be going in can't it and then we're going to use these two fingers and we're going to gently just stroke it over and what you'll find after a while not only are you getting beautiful calm when you're releasing off all those muscles working little circles outwards you'll start to feel Ooh, i can feel like sugar under my fingers yes granules they're those horrible dead cells coming up under your fingers thank you very much hazelnut oil so we use it and then we kind of just stroke it off and get it in and i would recommend doing a facial massage for 20 minutes so lie in the bath watch netflix whatever <laughs> but just really because youthful skin is an illusion happiness and health comes from the eyes and eyes really 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 relate to if you have got stress in this skin in these muscles <laughs> And I do have days when I look like that, although I could do with days when I look like that. <laughs> but it's stress, isn't it? It's tightness in the muscles. So really get down, put your fingers deep in after you've sloughed it all off. You've sloughed it all off. Then we're going back and we're going to go deep in. We're going to work the muscles and the tiny, tiny fibres that are holding the skin onto the skull. And think about it. Think, pull off a couple of faces, right? Think about all the muscles that I had to use to do that. We just use them all day, don't we? And we don't take any care of them. So really work them. And my goodness me, A, you'll notice far less headaches. You'll People will go, you look great. And it's, yes, it's the rose, but it's more the massage where you have released off all that stress. And also, you know, your face becomes more expressive because you're not Botoxed with stress any longer. And people are more interesting to watch and to listen to. And it's just the, it's the greatest, right? So in terms of rose oil benefits for skin, which is what you're interested in, we're going to use, it's the nourishment, the um, getting the keratinocytes fat, but also the womanliness of it all make sure you build this into your self-care re regime because we're not having it forever <laughs> this skin does not last forever you've got to take care of it girls um so again in the really we've talked to, we've talked it through i wouldn't do a facial steam really with it it's too precious but you definitely do a facial street <gasps> rose petals in hot water release off the essential oils that way use that for a steam with some herbs in put a towel over your head and let that'll clean your skin like nobody's business so as the pores open for the skin the grime comes out so that in itself your skin looks so much cleaner as well very very clear skin so use the petals definitely for that have a lovely steam. So you want to you have your face probably about, oh, I don't know, a foot away from the bowl if you can. Put a towel right over so you make a, a, um, a tent over and just breathe those fragrances. And you'll, as you start to sweat, the first bead of sweat that you get, just celebrate and think, I did this for myself. I cleaned my skin from the inside and it is a celebration. <laughs> so there we have it as i say this is one of a series of um videos 
so before you go please write me some comments like and subscribe but then look down in the description and say what else can i learn about is rose essential and i can say lots and lots and lots and come and subscribe to me here but also come and subscribe to my newsletter because i'm telling you now we have so much more fun on the newsletter than we do here <laughs> also go and get the book available on amazon so thank you for being with me for most essential oil and the benefits and check out the links below see you soon so you get your phone you turn it this way up and then there's a little red subscribe button turn it gray by clicking it and then there's a little bell click that and press all at the bottom of your phone or tablet or computer it will say you will receive all notifications and then there's a little hand with a thumbs up click that it'll turn it blue and it says add it to your liked videos and there will be comments and if you want to you can send a comment or, and say like hi to mum and dad like and then the link to the next video will be in the description below underneath the video. So, bye!